yo, 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 yo. Interesting part of my fashion education so far at Long Beach City College got to be the careers. Ended up coming to Long Beach City College because I heard about their program. Yeah, the Long Beach City College has the best program in town and very affordable. The teachers here really invest in their students and they really care about how they turn out. Someone at Ralph Lauren told me that they wouldn't hire me out of another school, but that they would hire me out of Long Beach because I would come out with all the skills that I needed to have. I really got close to a lot of the students here and the teachers are wonderful. They help you out. They help you with interns and they're just great. One of, uh, one of the things that students are always asking is why go to Long Beach City College? And there's lots of reasons to go to Long Beach City College. And of course one of the first ones that students think of right away is the amount of money it costs to go to private colleges. And for the amount of money that they're paying, they're not getting any better education or any better uh, openings into the industry than they are from Long Beach City College. Some other great things that we uh, try to tell our students are the flexibility of the programs. They can come in and they can take one class. They can take it night, they can take it day, they can take five classes. And if they have to drop out of a class or um, drop away for a semester, they can come back at any point and go right into the program. Whereas at a private college, many times, it's on a series of classes. And if they miss one, they've got to join that series again uh, at a later date. So the flexibility is a great uh, thing to point out. You know, I went looking for the different schools and I found out that most of them are very expensive. And they had good programs, but I found out that the Long Beach City College has the best program in town and very affordable. We only pay $28 per unit, which we cannot beat that. And we cannot find that prices anywhere else. Every time I went to campus tour, it always just seemed kind of um, exclusive. When I came here to Long Beach City, because I came here before for my general ed, everybody just seemed like a family and everyone was helping out each other. It didn't seem as competitive as the other schools. And once I started in the program, I, I just really felt comfortable to go to my peers and my teachers and ask advice about designs and different things that I was doing. And I didn't feel like they were trying to compete with me, they were trying to help me. All of our uh, instructors in both fashion design and fashion merchandise merchandising have all come from the fashion industry. Um, so they, they have that background and they have real life experiences to share with the students as well as their you know technical specialties and students often you know may have uh, an opportunity to do freelance work or whatever and they can go to our instructors and say you know what do I charge someone for a freelance pattern? And we can, we can give them that type of advice. Our instructors are outstanding. We've had um, major merchandise managers. Um, Pam was mentioning uh, designers, uh, pattern makers. So truly, they are absolutely working in the industry and they know what the industry requires. So having industry-related instructors are so important to us. Well, it's also so important in the fashion industry to meet deadlines. And that's what with these industry or instructors that have come from industry or still are working in ind industry, they realize how important it is to meet deadlines, and we do our best to enforce that you know the students meet their deadlines so that they are not surprised when they get into the real world and start working and uh, find out well if they didn't meet the deadline, they just missed a ten thousand dollar order, and now you're fired. You know that's <laughs> the kind of thing that can happen. I chose LBCC because to me they give more of like an opportunity. They have, there's more, they teach you more rather than the other schools don't really focus on, focus on you I would say. There's like, it's so much, they're bigger schools and this school is smaller. You get to learn about the teachers, the teachers get to know you and you just, to me you're more interacting with the, with the teachers and 
it's cheaper than most of the schools. I've actually talked to a lot of um, students from private colleges that are doing fashion design and they've said how great the Long Beach City College program is and how it actually is very comparable to the higher costing colleges. So I thought it was best and all the teachers are wonderful so I would, I would never change what I did and I love going to Long Beach City. I would selfishly say as the dean of this instructional area that I'm so proud of what we do and we have students that are coming out of this program who are going out and competing straight up with students from university programs, from private design programs, from, from every, every other place. We have a very comprehensive design program, marketing program. Uh, with our new Gerber Design Lab, students coming here, they're getting the real deal cutting edge of what's going on in digital design in the fashion industry, in marketing and, and in the whole every aspect of what's involved in fashion. It's one thing to just design something, but let's face it, we have to be able to manufacture it, we have to be able to advertise, we have to be able to market it, we have to be able to ship it. We study all of those things here, and our students are really fortunate to study with some great industry professionals and some wonderful, wonderful teachers. And uh, if this is something, whether it's going to be a, a vocation or an avocation, this is a wonderful program for people to come and study. When a student enters our program, um, their first semester, we encourage them to take the Intro to Careers in Fashion Design and Merchandising class so that they'll learn about all the different career opportunities that there are in fashion. Um, they will, as a, as a designer, design students will need to learn how to sew so that they understand the construction of garments. They'll also need to learn how to make a pattern. Um, again, they may not want to be a pattern maker, but they need to understand how it's done so that they'll understand the construction of a garment. And lastly, of course, they need to learn, be able to get their ideas down on paper. Because if you can't give your ideas to the merchandiser or to the pattern maker, you're stuck. You, can't, uh, you won't be able to get the design executed. So they need to start working on their illustration skills right away. Once they've uh, worked on those three skills in the first semester, then they're ready to come right on into design class and start applying those skills, where they actually have kind of been walked through those skills the first semester. Now they have to start thinking on their own and they have to apply those skills to their, their very own creations. Fashion merchandising and fashion design have a lot in common, and so they have a lot of courses uh, at Long Beach City College that they must take. So my merchandising students will also start with a careers class because they need to know what kind of opportunities are out there. And they quite frequently, I encourage them to take sewing, although it's not required, because if they don't know how a garment is put together or constructed, how can they sell a garment, price a garment, uh, have anything to do with a garment? Both design and merchandising students have to take textiles, and we'd like them to take textiles fairly early on in their uh, career, first or second semester, because I always say if you wear clothes, buy clothes, sell clothes, make clothes, wash clothes, you need to know what the textile fibers and fabrics Absolutely. are. Absolutely. And so it's so important to take textiles. Uh, both of the design and merchandising students required for merchandising and an option for design students is introduction to fashion uh, merchandising. And merchandising truly is the planning, organization, and uh, money behind the industry. And so many design students will actually end up in a position that could be called merchandising, and many merchandising students might end up in a, a position that is much more design related. Mm -hmm. uh, merchandising students also need to know how to sketch, so they'll be taking the beginning sketching class, uh, because if they go traveling to New York, they need to be able to, to relate what they've seen in, into New York or Europe back to their staff that they have. Now merchandising students will break off and take buying classes, international business classes, and eventually get a merchandising certificate or associate. So, and uh, it's yeah. a business. That's the yeah. main thing. It's it's a business. It's not just, you know, everyone thinks fashion is so glamorous, but it's a business, and so they have to understand business. Many of our students are actually part-time students because they work full-time and they take somewhere between seven and maybe 12 units a semester, and so it might take them two, three, or even four years, but they are going to walk away with definitely the skills that they need in our industry and hopefully the enthusiasm that they need in our industry to be successful. 
we do um, an internship program, and I do the work experience and internships, and they can be paid or non-paid. And one of the things that's the most important in it, of course, is having the job, but also making their resumes. And so uh, we work on resumes for six or eight weeks, and, and they do it every semester that they're in the internship program. Uh, we teach a class in portfolio development also, and that's a class that's not offered at many of the four-year right. universities or the private schools, and we help uh, the students learn how to format their portfolio so that they will have a successful interview. So now that they've got the great looking resume, they get the interview, now they go in with the wonderful portfolio that's beautifully laid out showing their illustration skills, their design skills, their computer skills, their technical uh, abilities by putting, including spec sheets, that sort of thing. And um, that's of course critical to getting the job too, is to have that outstanding portfolio. She mentioned computer skills, and I love the comment there. Uh, at this point, uh, as an example, our local university does not teach computer illustration. Uh, most jobs today in the garment industry require computer illustration. So half of my computer class right now are uh, uh, the university students along with our students. Uh, many students come from industry that are already out working in the industry and they need to develop those skills and they come to Long Beach City College to pick up those uh, compu uh, computer pattern making skills that they need to be successful. Yeah, so the technology is, is, we definitely are on top of it. We know what's needed and we sure try to uh, get it into our program and we do have the latest and greatest when it comes to our programs right now uh, and the software that is used industry related, I mean directly, they can come from our program with the computer pattern making and go right to work in the industry because they're working on exactly the same programs that mm -hmm. is the most popular worldwide in the industry. The Long Beach City College Fashion Show is, uh, is a wonderful promotion for the college itself and um, there's a lot that goes into the planning. In fact, uh, that we offer a class in which the students get to plan this event and we, we spend um, about 15 weeks planning the event. Um, we advertise. Uh, we, de of course, design um, the invitations. We shoot press kits and send out to all the local publications. Um, it's, a, it, it's an ex experience in marketing for the students. We are starting selecting models for this fashion show. The publicity part, when we get to the point of producing the show, we're going to have a entertainment part, which is uh, choosing music, cho choosing what kind of entertainment we want to have. Just seeing my project come together and also um, helping out with the fashion show production. Um, we had our press show and it went wonderful and that was the most exciting thing I've ever done, just being able to see the designs from students be put on into the film and have the models pose, them, pose with them on. I think it was just amazing. Um, I've been on fashion show production. I was on it um, the first year I came to Long Beach City College. And just knowing that I had input and in putting that fashion show together was all around the best. The fashion show is, is really a great opportunity for students and the students even have to contact the industry for the judges and the judges come in from many different areas from swimwear and sportswear and retail and textile sales and they get to sit there a dozen judges judging our students work and many times they are offered jobs it's a great opportunity for the students and for the judges themselves and, and networking again they see Long Beach City College and they realize just like I realized it's not just a little college fashion show it's actually a professional show put on by students that are graduating, both the merchandising and design students. It's a great opportunity. We have a lot of uh, uh, industry-sponsored scholarships that will be awarded at the fashion show. Um, the judges will determine the night of the show. They, they judge and then boom, the students are um, are awarded a scholarship right on the stage that they don't, you know, that they haven't, they don't even realize that you know, they haven't planned for. So that's exciting. Most recently, in the last two years, 
uh, the World Shoe Association has uh, began to sponsor a scholarship. And this year we had a student, um, she's only, this is just her uh, third semester and she won one of the uh, Shoe Association scholarships. It's a $2,000 scholarship, but uh, she was uh, competing in, um, against, like I said, four-year universities and private schools and she got first place. Uh, she will get the $2,000 scholarship as well as an all-expense paid trip Many times uh, this opportunity leads to jobs for the students. They'll, the, they meet with the owners of the companies and they'll you know, say, I loved your design and come back and see me when you've graduated. Long Beach City College Fashion Program is a wonderful place to attend. It gives the students an opportunity to express their creativity, express their organizational skills, network with others, and do it all for a price that is really, can be reached into their pocketbook and they can afford to do. It is an opportunity to be exposed to different cultures. It's an opportunity to be exposed to clubs, campus life, uh, other instructors, different languages. It's a great opportunity for students, and I would really encourage any student coming out of high school to come to Long Beach City College. And if they have a inkling that they'd like to be in fashion, come see us because we definitely know that we can uh, win them, and they will be very, very happy with what they've done. My future goals is actually I would love to be, after here, I would love to become a women's sportswear designer somewhere in Southern California. I love it here, but if I had the opportunity to go to like New York or Europe and design, I would love to do that. Well, this semester I graduate and I plan on moving to Hawaii because I do have a wonderful job offer in Hawaii and I will be working as a merchandiser for Guest Jeans. <laughs> My future goals, ultimately I plan on opening um, my own boutique. Um, I want to start a clothing line. Um, I'm actually in the process of doing so now. I want to transfer to a four-year and get a BA and then move to Seattle and get a job there. Once I have completed the program, I hope to work as an assistant designer at a um, local surf company, surf clothing company, and then um, I eventually want to open my own bathing suit and sportswear line. I want to do everything and here like I feel like I've got enough education and foundation here that I could do anything that I wanted to do and they have provided more than just classes they provided outside help and education on what to do once you're done they give you options besides just what you're going to school for so I hope I can do a little bit of everything and have a successful career. 